Hi friends. So today's video, I'll show one small worm wall animation because these worm, snake, all those things they'll move in a path, right? So they are not moving straight. So I'll show you a simple technique how to use do that path wall animation. Like if you have like this worm or snake kind of thing. As usual, I'll be doing very simple tricks. Okay, I'm not giving more import as a design here. The main concept is how you are going to use the tools. Okay. So I have made this small worm here, so you can see like all just copy paste all the things. Only head is different, tail is different and all this body part I just copy paste the same thing. Okay, so just we rearrange this as a worm. So it's a very simple. Now, next I will create all these as a symbol. Okay, now what is symbol? Uh, there is some other videos in my same channel about symbols. And what type of symbols you need, you need graphic or movie clip, there are some other videos just go through that so i'll make this as a symbol i'll make it as a graphic symbol okay then now you'll have I, like why you need symbol in the end of this video you'll understand why you need this symbol okay why we are going to make this as a symbol so i'll just create a symbol or these are the same so you can have like same symbol only copy paste again Control d duplicate so we can have like this same instead of doing separate separate symbols i just created one symbol here and I just copy paste it, I just rearrange this. I think this is enough in my work area. Done. So I'll remove this just idea. So the worm part is ready here. So this is a symbol here, head. Then we have body. And same one circle, like one symbol, we just copy paste it here. And this is the tail. Even tail I'll do as a symbol. Done. So if I go to library, window library, so there are three symbols. One is head, one is body and one is tail. Done. No problem. So now we'll do the small animation. First just rearrange this position. It's a very, very, very easy animation. I'll make this little small. So this will fit into my work area. I'll keep it somewhere here. Now we'll go to timeline. Okay. So where is it? So just select everything. Right click distribute to layers so now as you know or as, as you following my old classes so now all the things are distributed different different layers you can see it here so each part is in a different different layer done i'll give some 100 frame frames like insert frame or f5 shortcut key so like okay in 70 frames i have given for here so there is no animation now each part is in a different layer and we have like F5 or insert frame. So we have some frames up to 70 frames here. Simple. Now, I'll go to this layer, first layer, right click, add classic motion guide. So as usual, guide again, there is a one more video about guide, how to use guide, all those things. So I have done, uh, I have used guide here. And very important here, I'll connect all these parts to that one single guide. This is very very important. Okay, I'll redo redo it now. Check once. So go to the top layer, whatever, maybe this. Then right click, add classic motion guide. So when you say guide, you have a, you will get a new layer here to draw guide, and this is the object connected to this particular guide. Now I'll connect all these symbols to that same layer. See, you can see here. And in this guide layer, I will draw one single line. I will just zoom out. And I will just draw one line. Maybe any color, no problem. Done. So till now clear. We had all different different body parts here. And we done as distribute to layers. And we have, we have taken guide. Add classic motion guide. And connected all the other body parts at main layer only. So this is my guide layer and these are the other parts so i'll give classic pin for all other parts so we already done this in guide classes last frame i'll go for a keyframe shortcut key f6 or right click keyframe so first frame i'll select this worm and i'll keep it on that frame this is connected okay i'll go to last frame and take this worm or a body into here so now it has to move from one point to one point. Simple. Right. This is simple. So there is no need of guide here. Actually, you can do this with the 
classic pin frame by frame motion pin all of those things you can use it here no problem but as i explained you when i say worm it will move in a like curvy shape right now go to this shape go to that line on that guide layer and just move this and see the fun see now this body it moves in that particular line curvy line this is how you can play with the guide i'll go here and i'll just do this one shape like this now see i'll zoom so this is the way easy way to animate like this worm snake all those uh, creatures where it will move in a different different path right once you got this you can play with this i'll try to play with this now go down i'll make this up this up to you now everything is in your hand okay now i told you like we have we done symbol right now why this symbol i'll give simple example maybe i'll go to library so we had three symbols here as i told you head body and tail now maybe when you see this video you'll feel like you are going to change the color of that particular object or you are going to change it or you are going to do some different different worms uh, from same animation file so what you can do is you can just copy paste whole thing again i just go to this body sim body part one second and just double click on this maybe i'll change this color maybe you'll feel like okay i'm going to change the color of this particular thing simply i just i'll show you the use of this particular thing i simply I just change the colors just i'm changing randomly so this is the body color i have changed so when you come back to scene control enter so you can see whole thing is changed right so you can create like multiple different different type of uh, worms or snake part from here you have to change the body and tail yes correct but i have done the only body you have to change the head even you can go inside the head and you can change the color or same time go back to tail and change it or if you feel like you are going to change the whole design i'll just check so double click this is the file okay you feel like you are going to change the whole design of this again double click you go inside and we'll create a different worm now maybe i'll do it like this i'm just doing this funny like how easily you can uh, work with the symbols that's why see this will be now totally different one i'll zoom little bit see so this is the advantage of symbol so if you have a simple kind of thing one same animation you can create multiple ideas or multiple creatures with the same animation okay thank you